Hi. Ten days ago, we were introduced to OpenAI's text-to-video generator, Sora. It's not available yet, but you can see their presentation in my video or on their webpage, OpenAI Sora. I decided to do a comparison on one of their presentation videos, the one with the puppies in the snow. Let's find it again and take another look. Here it is, and it's amazing. AI generated. I'll copy the prompt directly and see what we can generate with it now. It says, a litter of golden retriever puppies playing in the snow. Their heads pop out of the snow covered in. I will use this in animate diff and on mage space, and you can follow along. Okay, copy that. You can download the video yourself if you want. Let's watch it again. Notice how the puppy's heads are directly close up facing into the camera and how everything is constantly coherent, which is really one of the biggest challenges at the moment because AI can't figure out how to sustain coherency yet. But it's now clearly improved with the next generation of text to video. Okay, so now we'll first take a look at what Animate Diff can do. I will run it on my account at Run Diffusion. It's kind of funny because I already know that this method probably will be obsolete within a few weeks. Anyhow, I will fire up Automatic 1111 Web User Interface, which is a generator for stable diffusion images and animations through Animate Diff. This is $1.75 per hour for running generations on very heavy top-notch GPU hardware. There's no way I can run this locally on my own computer. Okay, loading up Automatic 1111. Here we are. First, I will set the checkpoint model, and there's a lot to choose from depending on what you want to generate. This is not easy and straightforward at all. You need to know the differences between these models, and they do also depend on which other models you will use to animate. I choose this one, Realistic Vision V5. Okay, so now it's loading in. Done. And then we're ready to take a look at the generation settings. And I have already Animate Diff installed here, so might as well open it up right away. By the way, this picture over here has nothing to do with me. Just a warm welcome, I guess. Then I'll just quickly do the settings that I want to use. This is a Motion Module Stable Diffusion 1.5 version 2. It generates the motions. Then we also need to set the sampling method and here I'll choose the DPM, SDE, Kara Sampler, which I usually have good experience with. So now let's insert the prompt. A litter of golden retriever puppies playing in the snow. Their heads pop out of the snow, covered in. Right, and we will not use any negative prompt. Then I set the sampling steps to 30, and the CFG scale to 10. Then we need to set our desired image size, and today we want a 16 to 9 ratio. So I will have the 1920 to 1080 and make it 960 to 540 pixels. Then we can upscale later. Right. And in the animate diff, we need to put in a frame rate. I will run 48 frames with 30 frames per second. And I want a batch size of 24 because it's half of my 48 frames. Then I want an interpolation on 3 and activated it as film. Now, I have not enabled the animation yet because I want to run an image first. And we do that by just clicking Generate. So, and here you see how it's generating an image. Seven puppies in a row so at least it understands our prompt. Now let's enable the animate diff with the motion module to generate an animation with the puppies in motion. And we're off. It says here that it takes about 20 minutes, but the actual time is about half that, somewhere just under 10 minutes. I'll save you that and jump ahead. You can see the images that are being generated while this is happening. So here it is, download and open. It clearly needs some more brightness, I'll fix that in my editor. And then there's a typical AI error here, where the rear end turns into a head. I'll cut that out later. Okay. I'll edit the prompt a bit and add close-up. 
Let's generate again. Down here below, you can see all parameters for the latest generation, including seed and the generation time. So, while I'm generating this, I'll just fast forward and then I'll make a few more that you can see clipped together in a bit. In the meantime, let's jump over to MageSpace and do a few similar animations. I have a pro user subscription here. It's cheap and limitless and highly recommendable. Now, again, we will choose Stable Diffusion 1.5, and then we will choose Absolute Reality as our checkpoint model. In the settings, we'll choose the 16 to 9 image ratio, 30 steps, and leave the guidance scale. We'll click the Animate button and pass in the prompt. Just checking the model again. All good. Let's hit Generate. All right. And again, fast forward. And here it is, looking good. We can then click Rerun here to make some more. And here one more. Then I want to change the scheduler. It's default on DDIM and I want it on DPM, SDE, and with the caras enabled just like in Animate Diff. Right. Let's generate again. Okay. Looking better with the DPM SDE caras. It's more clear and steady. Then now I will again alter the prompt and add close up and change plural to singular, meaning one puppy. So while I'm finishing up here, we'll jump straight to the final result. And here we are. Well, it's definitely not as good as open AIs, but it's not bad either. Sure, we can generate puppies in the snow. They look real and they are cute. The thing is that this is kind of second generation AI text to video animate, and we have had access to this for several months since mid last year. Rumors are now saying that the next third generation will be available within a few weeks. So we really have something to look forward to. And that also applies on this channel, regardless if you are into puppies or fine ladies, etc. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.